Right, so this is inside the um, Bristol Fighter front cockpit and we've been doing ground runs on it. Uh, this is just to sort of show you a quick inside of um, <clears throat> what, what, it, what it's like and what we're doing, what we're looking for and how to start it from inside the cockpit. Um, so the first things first is the um, you would hand pump your air pressure for your fuel. There's the gauge for it there. Here's the pump up to um, so two, two and a half. Um, <clears throat> you see on that gauge there. And then you'd position the Hux starter to the front of the prop where you should see in the other video. Um, you'd then um, do your check, so fuel on, throttle closed, ignition retarded, switches off and ready to prime. So fuel on is just forward of your stick here. So you can see how you turn the fuel on, select which tank you want. And throttle closed and the throttle is just here. So that's open and closed, so you make sure that's closed. And your ignition needs to be fully retarded, which is this lever here, so that's advanced and retarded there. You check that the switches are off, they're on the outside, and then you would call ready to prime. You would then open your primer tap there, and with the Hux turning the engine over, you would pump four shots using this primer here um, into the engine while it's getting turned over with the Hux. Front fuel on, throttle closed, switches off, ready to pry. You'd then, once that's done, you turn your primer off again, you'd isolate it. Uh, you could then, with your radiator flaps set to closed so it warms up quicker. Ignition is still fully retarded. You crack the throttle just a bit, not a lot. Um, you would then call your switches on the side, flick them up for on. You then call contact at which point the hucks would then turn the prop and, um, and then the, uh, that should uh, fire up into life then. So primer off. Primer off. Primer off. Fully retarded. Fully retarded. Throttle set. Throttle set. Contact. Contact. Right, so uh, now we're started. Um, the first thing I would do is I would check that the oil pressure comes up, make sure it's not too high or too low. Um, I'd expect it, uh, it should be running between anywhere between 35 and 45 um, PSI really. Um, on a cold day you'd expect it to be slightly higher, maybe 50 until it gets warm. Um, you just keep an eye on that throughout the whole run and check it comes up at the start. Um, so obviously my Radiator flaps are enclosed so it's warm because the engine's still warming up, still cold. Um, I'd set my throttle, uh, advanced retard, sorry, to a third, and I'd set my RPM to about seven to eight hundred, and I'd let that warm up. Um, and I've got a radiator coolant temperature there. You see, I'd expect it to be about 60 really before, so I'd let it warm up at 800 RPM until the radiator temperature gets up to about 60 degrees C. Then after that, I'd fully advance my um, mags there, and I would open the radiator cow flaps um, so it doesn't get too hot when I increase the RPM. 
I then open the throttle, take it up to about 1600 RPM, uh, then do a mag check, and just make sure the mags are working properly, turn one off at a time, um, make sure that the RPM drop isn't too much, if it does then, you'd, um, then the, you've, you've got a problem that needs looking at. If that's all okay, then fully open the throttle, see what your max RPM is that you achieve. Um, somewhere around 2000, maybe just shy, you'd expect on, on this. Um, tell you everything's running right. Um, you then bring the throttle back, let things settle. Again, let all your temperatures and pressures settle at about 800 for a, a few minutes. Um, you could then fully uh, bring your advanced retard back to about third and check your idle so you bring your throttle all the way back make sure it idles it doesn't cut out or idles too highly or anything um, I then like to let things settle again at 800 for a, another minute or two <clears throat> and then um, shut down by switching the mag switches off down here 